this up from Dollarama. I got another organizer that's like acrylic. Um, I'm gonna be putting my like brush in here and just like other things that I can't fit on these two. I showed you guys in a previous vlog that I put my makeup, oh my goodness. <laughs> I put my makeup brushes here and I don't love it. So I'm gonna put it here. That way it's easier to just like use and grab. And then I can have this space for something else. So I'm gonna put my like taller makeup brushes in here and then my shorter ones I'll put in the other, other section. Yeah, I think that looks so much better. Alrighty, you guys, so I cleaned up my beauty area and I wanna show you guys how it looks. So I showed you guys that I got this um, from Dollarama. So I wanted to put my like hairbrush and my brushes in here because I originally had them on this one and I didn't love it. So I wanted to put it here. It's more aesthetically pleasing to the eye. The brushes that I use and it's just easier. It's more convenient to have them like here instead of like here. And then here I have all my like skincare and some perfumes that don't fit on my other acrylic stand that I have in the master bathroom. Um, but yeah, this is how everything looks. I feel like it's my favorite part <laughs> and then here i have more of just like some other makeup that doesn't fit here so my foundations primers concealers mascara some lip products um beauty blenders eyelash curlers um yeah just some more stuff so that's basically how my beauty room looks it looks so much better and then i have my makeup bag here um but yeah i love it so much more now with this added it just feel like it looks a lot more organized and it is served oh my gosh we have some jerk chicken that we just barbecued well we just barbecued and some corn we're gonna eat this this looks so good jay thank you Aww. such a good cook okay guys so i got the dyson corral straightener i'm so excited to open this up and try it out and then i also got some samples so i also got the say let me focus that say glowy super gel so I got that. And then I also got the Huda Beauty Concealer. So that's how it looks. And then the best part, the Dyson Corral. I'm so excited to try this out. I got the hot pink one. So I'm gonna open this up and set it up and I'll show you guys how it looks. So this is how the box comes. Super cute. And yeah, let's open this up together. So this is how it comes packaged. It has Dyson all over it and there's a little pink sticker. So cute. So just gonna do this. Ah, oh, it's so pretty. It looks like a velvety material and it's so pretty the way it comes packaged. Oh my gosh, the color is so pretty. I love the color, wow. It's so pretty. So this is pretty similar to the Dyson Airstray where like it opens like this. Um, so. like some instructions and then the charging dock as well, which is so cool. So I can put this on my table and it would just charge there and I just love that. So this is how the charging dock comes. And then you put the straightener here and it charges. Okay, 
So this is the charger. So I'm gonna go plug this in. Okay, so I just plugged it in. So this piece that plugs into the wall is actually magnetic and it charges like that. And then the charger goes here to charge because it has that little... Oh my gosh, that's so cool. And now it's charging and it just looks really like aesthetic here. Like I love that it's pink. It's so pretty. Love it. I'm just going to leave that to charge for a bit and I'm probably going to wash my hair later today and test it out and see if I like it. But I love the color. It's so pretty and it just looks really like aesthetic on my beauty table. So love that. But yeah, I feel like it looks so good on my beauty table. Oh my gosh. I love the way everything just like looks so love that for me i love it and i love when it charges listen to this it like makes a little bing <laughs> it's so cute it's the little things for me i swear i'm like a little kid um and then you open that and it opens and yeah so i'm just gonna let that charge for a bit and i will show you guys after So I just washed my hair. I'm gonna air dry my hair and then straighten it after, but I'm just gonna do some skincare really quick. So I self tanned last night, so my tan is super fresh. So this is how it looks after I've washed it off the next day. It's such a nice color. I love the Bondi Sands tan. And yeah, I'm just doing some skincare. So I'm gonna probably fast forward this because you guys have seen this so many times on my channel. And yeah, let's do some skincare together. So I just put on my jewelry. I just got ready for the day. So yeah, I'm gonna put some oil in my hair. And you guys know the oil that I use is the Kerastase one. I love it. Put about two pumps of that and I just focus on the ends. For perfume, I don't know what perfume I'm gonna wear today. I think I'm gonna do black opium. I'm gonna let my hair air dry for a bit and then I'm gonna go in and straighten my hair with the Dyson Cura straightener. So I'll show you guys that, so stay tuned. Oh yeah, one last thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put on my Fenty lip mask and now i'm done and i'm gonna go eat some lunch and yeah talk to you guys okay soon. guys i'm back i just blow dried my hair really quickly because my hair takes so long to air dry because it's so long it takes so long to air dry and i was getting really impatient this is how it looks blow dried it is Pretty frizzy as you guys can see <laughs> and yeah I'm gonna be using my Dyson straightener so let's use it together so I'm just gonna section off my hair but before I do that I'm just gonna brush it it's a no makeup day today because I'm literally not leaving my house so I'm not going anywhere so there's no point in doing my makeup but Tomorrow I'm gonna to be seeing Tylee, so I will do my makeup for that. We're gonna go downtown and get some food or something, so I will take you guys along that, but yeah. It's fully charged. Okay, it took me a while to figure out because there is an option on here for flight ready. 
and then for like home so you just kind of like push this out and it like adjusts um so i put it on home obviously because i'm home so i'm not flying anywhere but now it's gonna work because it wasn't working it said that there was like an airplane on here so let's try it out now okay so it's telling me to put up the the heat so i'm gonna put it at 185 it goes up to 210 so it's 165 185 and then 210 um so let's try it out first time trying it so let's try it Okay, so I feel like it does tug my hair, which I was not expecting because the Dyson Airstrike was so smooth. Um, it does tug my hair, but I feel like it's very... Hmm. I don't know how I feel about it, honestly. I feel like the plates are kind of tugging my hair when I straighten it. It's not as smooth as I thought it would be. Hmm. Let's keep doing it and we'll see. Fast forward this section and yeah, we'll see my hair afterwards. So I feel like my hair is really getting tugged when I use this. I don't know if I'm using it correctly. Like, I don't know if there's like a specific way to use it, but I can see that my hair is getting caught on the sides. And maybe there's like a specific technique to do, but so far I'm like, I don't know. I don't know how to feel about it, honestly. Like it's, I had, I guess, higher expectations and let me just move the camera a bit. Um, I had higher expectations and I feel like it's not really what I was hoping for. Like my hair, feel, I feel like every single time I use the straightener, it like tugs my hair and I feel like my hair is falling out. My cheese straightener never would tug. Like I feel like this is really tugging. I can just feel like it's... I don't know. I'm not a fan. I'm sure you guys can hear that too. Like, do you guys hear? I'm disappointed, you guys. I'm actually so sad because I had really high hopes for this and I am not that impressed. I mean, my hair looks really good. Like it looks really straight, really like, really good. It's just, I don't really like the way it tugs my hair. Like I feel like it's literally breaking my hair. Anyways, I'm gonna go look into okay, it. So I actually looked into it and apparently it was my fault. So I was actually holding the straightener too like hard. Like I should have like, not held it as hard as I did like going down so I ended up doing it again and it was not tugging my hair this time at all it actually like worked really really well so yeah it was my fault I should have looked into it before I like finished my entire hair but yeah now um, I'm really happy because it actually wasn't tugging my hair at all it was going down smoothly and it wasn't pulling or anything so yeah this is how it looks this is the final result my hair feels so soft and so healthy um, but yeah, so I'm just going to end the vlog here. I really hope you guys enjoyed today's video and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.